all this. How are you doing, Ale? Good, good. How are you? Can I'm we get great. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? Hey, that's crazy. I done seen Buddy before. This ain't his first time on, on one of these. I'm 40. 40 I'll and be 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for cool. a major airline. All right. So now, I play, fix planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, shout out to think he played on it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if the girls like that, though. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun? Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country, country guy, okay? okay? I'm still city, but, you know, I like to do country things. Uh, I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. Okay. <laughs> My boy said I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> Straight up. Okay, I like to read. I want to know about things that I don't know. Okay, um, I like to go lounges, right? I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really um, have a good time. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Now, what are some things that you're looking for in a woman? Transparency, mm. for sure. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Uh, loyalty, that, that, that really... Um, for men, that's a big thing, loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying, having a good time, that you loyalty and you faithful. Mm. To hey, you could tell he done been cheated on before. Because for me personally, communication is big on my list. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty definitely is on there, but communication will be first. You feel me? As a man, you know. A man like me. Okay. Now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto. So I understand that, you know, <laughs> we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, is really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers. But as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah, shout out to Makeup by Mrs. Parker. <laughs> Miss Parker. Hey, I see you. <laughs> hey. All right, we're going to say that. We're going to say that. Let's see what she's talking about. <laughs> All right, and Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker, so... Man, look, man, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Now, if he would have got on, on this stage and said, yeah, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't, he was going to get popped anyway. You know what I'm saying? I think it was just her, his energy that she probably didn't like. But let's see. You have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Okay. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, <laughs> right? So nothing that you- Hey, we, we know he from the ghetto, ain't it? <laughs> he, he won't let it go. Hey, but listen though, on these Pop the Balloon shows, man, I don't know if y'all watch these shows out there, but bro, as soon as a guy get to talking too much, that's when he messed up. You feel me? Like, she popped your balloon, bro. Move on, you know what I'm saying? Watch he talk himself into a hole, I bet you. What you done in your past, it doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. Mm. So that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know, oh. you're, you're not my type because of what you've done in your past, not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong, okay? So that's why. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is Mr. Someone that is your type? She, de she definitely. She got this cowgirl going on. I'm from the <laughs> South, right? You know, so I like your outfit. I like what you got going on, definitely. Thank you. All right. Let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy, and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well, and mm. I live in the DMV. Mm. Okay. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I would just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as like energy, I feel like I. What I tell y'all, bro, his energy just a little. 
I don't know if it's aggressive, cocky, or what it is. You know what I'm saying? But his energy just, I feel like them, I feel like women ain't, they not going to take to it the way he probably would want it to. Dated guys from New Orleans before and it just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since we come from the same place, it clashes? Yeah. You know, I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. You never met Brian, <laughs> but today that you did, you know what I mean? <laughs> and today, definitely, you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because Thank I respect you. my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal, right? Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you. But, Thank you, you know, like since you popped on handsome. me, we don't really dig with rejection too well. Man, he literally having a conversation with himself. It's like, it's like he trying to get retribution for getting his balloon popped or something. I don't know. Listen, just from my perspective, y'all let me know in the comments. But if she said no, she said no. Keep it pushing, bro. You don't have to say too much. I'm telling you, this. it's like shooting yourself in the foot, fool. Yo, we respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of my, my career. Yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say. Yeah, I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in depth. OK, mm -hmm. you're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go to our next lady here. We can have your name and age. Um, my name is Chanel Kitt, and I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona, um, Coco Stiletto on Instagram. I have my own business. I'm a consultant, business consultant, and I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Okay, and I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. I am 42. Um, and the reason... Shout out to Coco Chanel on Instagram. <laughs> I think we got us a cougar, baby. <laughs> on everything. Hey, man, y'all go, go hop in them DMs, man. She said her name, Coco Chanel, on Instagram. I think that's what she said. The why I popped my balloon is, is pretty much, and you have already answered, um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Um, I can be a handful sometimes as well, So and, and it can be anything. So it's got to be something that makes you tick that you can be honest about. So that's why I popped my balloon. And you kind of remind me of my nephew. Just mm -hmm. Popping y'all balloons is making him tick, man. <laughs> you can't see that? I know. This is sweet. Okay. Can I remind you of my nephew? Okay. Um, so you said the deal breakers would be because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay. Well, I could have a clean... I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And, and that will... tell me that, and, and I that, might jump all over you. <laughs> and that will come. Definitely. I will definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. I'm going to give you that grace before I don't give you that grace. Right? I ain't going to cap, y'all. I don't think he going to leave with nobody. He talking way too much, bro. He talking way too much. But let's see, though. But I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might circle back, but oh. you might go get back. You might. You want your balloon back? Do, do you Not want yet. that balloon back? Oh, Not wait. yet. Okay. <laughs> you, you got the gift the gab. I see. So we're just gonna. <laughs> I got the gift the gab. Let's go. It's transparency, love. <laughs> okay, if we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant, and I'm a new entrepreneur. Just about to launch my fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian. I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto, <laughs> too, so I like them a little loose, and um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. You're 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You Jeez. got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Mm. Cause it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. No man in your life? Nope. Why Except is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Um. Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So what can you Aye. do? 
they do you like that? What's wrong with them? Something. Mm. Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? <laughs> hey, I knew it was coming, fool. He ain't he ain't fighting fell, fool, on everything. Hey, but look, I don't necessarily see anything wrong with what he's saying. I just think it might be the way he's saying it. You get what I'm saying? Like, he set that play up. You know what I'm saying? He like, he like, shout it, you got three kids, three baby daddies. Ain't none of them stayed. Something wrong with you. You feel me? <laughs> hey, they is not finna take to that too well on everything. Let's see what she got to say. Possibly, but I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. <laughs> I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. Oh, you see that, though? I, well, first off, I like the comeback for for Buddy. You know, he said, "Yeah, I think you look nice too." But you see, she tried. She was gonna try to check him because she felt like he was checking her. Oh, you forty one? I thought you said you were forty. You know what I'm saying? He checked about them three three babies and them three baby daddies, and she was ready. To, <laughs> she was ready to say something. But but I ain't gonna cap though. She looked like a sweetheart. You feel me? It don't look like she'll give too much too much problem. You know what I mean? It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Straight <laughs> <Thank> up. You. <laughs> Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Okay. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I popped my balloon. What do you mean, check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I popped my balloon. Hey, y'all let me know in the comments, man. Was he tripping about that? Like, do you expect your significant other, if they if they been out all day, do you expect your significant other to hit you up and check on you? I do, you know. I I think that's a cool expectation, you know what I'm saying? If we doing this love thing, I'm going to check on you, you check on me, you know what I'm saying? We out. If you out, yeah. In the world, you know what I'm saying? Or if I'm out just in the world, yeah, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to make sure you good. You need anything, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you low on money, you know what I mean? Like, you might be out with your girls or something, you feel me? It might be a little short, need, need a little drink money or something. You get what I'm saying? I ain't no telling, you feel me? Or, or whatever the case, you might be thinking about me. And as soon as I hit you, it's like, oh, I was just thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? Now when you get home, we finna, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we done made the situation positive. You feel what I'm talking about? Like, me personally, I I get what she's saying, but, you know, just out of love in general, you know, you're supposed to check on your significant other if you're away from them, you know? Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For Thanks. what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> It's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? He, that was a simple question. You, For somebody else or for yourself? You know, you got your own LLC or whatever the case like that. She she ain't know how to answer that one. <laughs> social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Nice. Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Hey, look, what I told y'all. I think that's everybody that popped their balloon. What I told y'all, Shada ain't leaving with nobody. He talking way too much, you feel me? And I know you probably, he probably think that that's player, you know what I'm saying? He on there, he talking real suave, you know, he got some slick to say back, you know? But a real PJ... Keep it P, bro. Don't you ain't gotta say too much. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if she wasn't digging you, she wasn't like you. Hear her reason. 
tell her she beautiful and move on to the next. You get what I'm saying? Because you definitely had some other fish on the hook, but you just messed that up. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got That's pregnant, definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's yeah, not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. Thank you. Let's go back here. Okay, if we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay, and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? I'm doing amazing. Shay, uh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county, and I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay. All right, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but. Oh, shoot. She was ready to speak her mind. <laughs> oh, <that thing. laughs> I like somebody that's outspoken, but mm -hmm. the question of, I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many baby daddies you got? And then, you know, it, it just, that's, it, does that matter? You say future, so that's they past, it's not they future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter, she's 19. Do you want more? I do. My balloon still pop because I don't want any more. Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you I'm choose choosing, not to I choose have not any to have any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. Okay. Yeah. Well, the reason... Hey, I see what's going on, though. Shouty is a little cocky with his approach, but he's asking real questions, you know? I mean, I'm not going to negate the fact that he asked... Uh, the last girl how many baby daddies she got as if she he knew she was gonna have more than one you know what I'm saying but all in all I do think that that's a legitimate question you feel me for me asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future if you didn't have if you didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because, not, I mean, I can look at you and say, say, like, you, you, you made people make mistakes. And it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice, okay, some things become a choice, but no, your no, past no. doesn't determine. When it comes to w once is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then say, like, you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married, and things don't work. So then I guess you made a mistake. Or, and then so you, once is a mistake, and then twice is... I don't believe in that because I believe... Things happen. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay. You well, should have learned from that very no. first mistake. I get what he's saying right there, too. You know, he he definitely coming off a little daddy-ish, but I feel what he's saying. You know, I think she kind of triggered because she done made mistakes. <laughs> and we, done, we all made mistakes, you feel me? So it shouldn't even be, you know, it ain't even that deep. You get what I'm saying? But all he really saying is, man, listen, uh, First time, you know, it was cool. Second time, is you, you the fool. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. You know what I mean? It's just, I guess his energy. You feel me? The the way he speak with his energy is not just comforting. You know what I mean? Mistake. Okay. And not learned. saying that your child is a mistake, right? Of course not. But the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with. And secondly, not to have a marriage after the next one or before marriage the next one. Marriage doesn't determine. And I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married, but marriage don't determine anything. I've known people to be married for a long time and it don't work out, baby. So, okay. yeah, you are. No, honey, buddy, okay. you, you're too aggressive now. No problem. Okay, uh, well, you know, uh, the aggressiveness, that comes from a Southern man, uh, right? Baby, let me explain and we stand on what we talking roots about. roots come from Texas, so... Mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean. South, so when you, right, Brian, let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. <laughs> have a good day, love. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, what do you? Hello, do? Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Very nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Just based off of the energy, I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fill you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, just overall, that's it. Okay. Right, right. Now, that's real. I can't sit here and say that anything this man is saying is wrong. It's just his energy. Like I said from the jump, I told y'all at the beginning of this video, bro, they not finna take his energy that well. Like, like nah, you got to come smoother than that, fool. Straight up. So you a follower? No. Oh. I just, I went out, that's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see for myself. Okay, so you didn't write just, my responses and the women that, that I responded to? You didn't like the responses? Just the energy from it. Mm. Yeah. The, the energy is too strong for you, huh? Not necessarily too strong. I just, just didn't too much care for it. That's understandable. I respect that, though. Thank you. Okay. 
Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Davinia, and I'm 41. And Davinia, what do you do? I'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well, very suave, handsome gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time. But then it started to feel like an attack. And I don't, right. I didn't like or agree with the attack. Mm -hmm. So that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack. Can you elaborate on that? Um, you don't judge people from their past or you like to start off with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kids, her second baby daddy per se, um, I don't think that's her fault. So if she decides to stay and marry the man, like Brian says, then that means she's settling. And I don't agree with a woman having to settle just because the opinions of others thinking that, you know, it's going to be her fault. It's her fault because it didn't work out. No. Okay. Because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away right. because that situation isn't healthy for you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Okay. I agree with her to an extent, right? Because anybody that you choose is, in fact, your fault. You know, it's about where you're at in your own growth. You know what I'm saying? That's why they say it's important for you to fix yourself, worry about yourself first before you go out here trying to be somebody's other half or significant other. Because the more you fix yourself, the better you'll pick your, your other person. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So there's four billion women on the planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter. Mm -hmm. So why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? Well, don't pick me. Mm. Right. Yeah. And you I have understand the choice. that. You have the choice. We all I have, have the, the choice. I have the choice, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. No, I'm not judging you. That just means that I'm not for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. Buddy might just be a little sensitive. That's all. You know what I'm saying? You probably would be very player if you would take the sensitivity out your out your game, fool. You know what I mean? Because I get what, what he's saying. I get where he's coming from and all that. But, yeah, he might just be a little sensitive. That's all. So I'm not judging and you I understand and your opinion that. How many kids and your you preference. Have? I have three. You 25, have 25, 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... There's no, it's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm -hmm. But I just want you to understand, when it comes to a man of top tier, right, <laughs> we give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that, that, that disqualifies yourself. So it disqualifies a top tier woman from... Look, the problem with this situation, I'm going to break it down to you. The problem with this situation is, like I said at the beginning, he won't just move along. It's like they said they didn't want you. Now you're trying to teach them why they should want you or why you shouldn't want them. You get what I'm saying? Like, just move on, fool. It's like you. It's like it's like you trying. I don't know. It's you can't teach these women nothing. You're not their daddy. You don't have their trust or anything like that. You know, just just move on, fool. They don't want you. They pop their balloon. That's it. You get what I'm saying? You don't have to sit there and teach them how to be a woman or teach them about a top tier man or something like that. You feel me? Getting a top That's tier exactly man. That's exactly right. Why? Because there's has. billions of women on this planet. Okay. All right. All right? Well, I respect your opinion. Okay. 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 Well, Brian, that is all the balloons popped. No problem. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. All Let's right. Take thank you. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you too. Hey. <laughs> Hey, man, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that one, man. Do y'all feel like he was too aggressive, too sensitive, or do y'all feel like he was on point with everything that he was doing? Me personally, man, I feel like you just got to be Mo P, fool. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you was one of them guys who didn't really get women when you was young. You know, now that you done got older, you might have got a little money, you know, a little stability. And now you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm the prize. This was this what I was missing when I was young. You know what I'm saying? So it's causing you to be a little more aggressive with these women because they still don't want you. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to sit there and convince them why they should want a top-tier man, and, and it's just not working for you. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, 
Shout out to that man. Shout out to all the women on the panel. You know what I'm saying? And big shout out to Arlette, man. She really been taking this pop the balloon thing very far. I don't know if y'all been watching, but Arlette, she 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 took the pop the balloon method and she's really making it a household name. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Shouty, man. And look, y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And until next time, 100.